Well, the clouds stuck around today. We had rain off and on, as you probably know. In some cases, some heavier rain, especially in the south parts of the News 10 viewing area. Photojournalist Tony Casasia shot this video in Terre Haute this afternoon. Very nice. You know, Tony is a really good photographer, and uh, he always picks out these very nice scenes for us to uh, see. So anyway, uh, thank you, Tony. So some scattered showers are still possible tonight. Warmer as we get into the day on Thursday. So we only had a high today of 69 degrees so far, but a very warm weekend is in store with a high on Friday of 85, Saturday 87, and Sunday 88. Now, yesterday at this time, I was talking about the possibility of maybe Sunday having a little chance of rain. I believe that it's, if it does happen, it's gonna be later on Sunday, and maybe a better chance of rain is gonna be on Monday. So right now, the weekend looks like it's gonna be dry. Here's a look at the Storm Team Town Storm Tracker. Let me track that for you here. We have uh, some little patches of rain here in the south part of Vigo County, south of Prairieton, down around Prairie Creek, and then here's Fairbanks, just to the east of Fairbanks. And then a little farther to the south, right in Sullivan. We just had a story about Sullivan, all the great things they're doing down there, but we have some rain going on in Sullivan and then to the uh, west of Sullivan over here toward the Wabash River over to Hudsonville and into Green County from Linton down to south of Fairplay, north of Newberry and then down to the southeastern section of uh, Green County. And then also in Lawrence County, a little heavier patch of rain here uh, around Lawrenceville, actually just a little bit south of Lawrenceville. So we do have some rain here as well, and also some rain south of Robinson. So there is some rain around. And take a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. We can track this through the, through the uh, nighttime tonight. Here's 3 o'clock in the morning. Here's 6 o'clock tomorrow. Even into the day tomorrow, I'm going to use the term isolated showers tomorrow because see, here's just a little bit of rain here. Every once in a while, a little spot of rain or so but I think it will be partly sunny tomorrow. I believe we'll have some fog possible through the nighttime tonight and maybe some isolated showers during the day tomorrow. But as far as the threat of rain tomorrow, not a huge threat of rain tomorrow. The pollen forecast, well, it gets back up there as we get into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with highs tomorrow, 78 in Clinton, Rosedale 78, Vermilion 78, Paris 79, Cayuga 80, It'll be 78 in Terre Haute, Marshall 79, Moonshine 78, and in Vincennes 77. For tonight, an overnight low of 61, scattered showers, and most likely some areas of fog as well. And then tomorrow, a high of 78, partly sunny, but some isolated showers are still possible. And tomorrow night, down to 59, but clearing and mild for the overnight low tomorrow night with a light breeze and the seven day forecast. We get into Friday, not a great chance of rain at all. And then Saturday and Sunday look pretty good. And we get into the first part of next week. That's when we have the possibility of another chance of rain.